So I'm going to combine a couple of uh, the games in available as templates in Construct 2 into a single game. So I'm going to start off with my templates. So I'm going to grab the infinite jumping, that's the doodle jumpy one. And I'm also going to grab the physics puzzle, I think. Uh, physics puzzle, there we go. So I've got these two that I'm going to combine into one. Um, I once I've got them combined into one, I can also add more layouts into this of my own. So, for example, if I was doing the Amazing Race, I could add in a layout, which was the Amazing Race sort of map going between them. But I'm not going to bother doing that here. I'm just going to combine these two. So, our main problem all the way through this is naming. Notice this is called New Project. This is also called New Project. This is called Layout 1. This is also called Layout 1. This is our problem that we need to solve. So, I'm going to start with the names of the projects. Name New Project. Um, just being a bit careful. I'm going to make this one the main one because I've got this as a top one, keeping track of what I'm doing. So I'm going to call this main game, right? And while I'm here, I'll do this one. I'm going to call this, and this is in this one. So I'm going to call this one physics. Cool. So I've got the two main projects labeled. I think I'll also rename these right now. So rename as main game and the event sheet so rename as main game events it, because we absolutely going to have all kinds of trouble if we try and do anything combine anything that's got the same name so this one we're into the physics one here so physics layout and this one physics events right next problem we've got the i'm going to put everything into the main game but i've got these things which are not yet in the main game although the touch is i don't need to transfer the touch across there's only one touch object per game we've already got that but i've got this pig and i've got to have that up here so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy and paste the things from here into main game so starting with pig right click copy main game I'm just going to paste them into this area over here and click and there we are thing is once I've pasted that over there where I've got yeah I've got player and I've got pig it exists in the main uh, structure of the game and although I don't need it on this level I'll be able to delete it from here and be fine so I'm just going to go back to my physics game and I'm actually going to be organized and do them one by one to make sure I've got them. You actually have to do it over here. You can't um, just copy and paste from in here into here in this um, tree view. Don't know why. It should work, but it doesn't. So never mind. We just, I've been trying a few things and this one definitely does work. So let's go all the way back to here. Ground, control C, main game, control V. One of the things that I was just checking there is that I didn't already have a ground. If you have anything that's named the same twice, it's a problem. And I have got that here because I've got these two text boxes. I've got a text which is in this one for, I think that must be this, uh, that thing at the bottom. But it's different here. So I'm actually going to rename this one. This is going to be text and this is in the physics game. Cool. So now, uh, text physics control C, and back to the main game, control V, cool. Doesn't matter that it is here, it, it will also be in the main one, I'll just delete it from here in, in good time. So we've done all the uh, important stuff there, just double check box, ground, pig, text physics, box, ground, pig, text physics. Those are all been transferred across. Now, having done that, we need to do some saving. And this need, You need to be a little bit careful here. So, file, save as project. Now, you notice I haven't saved anything here yet. So, I'm just going to dig into my folder, documents folder. I'm going to make a new overall folder for the main project, C2, I'm going to call it. Annoyingly, that hasn't actually. There we go, C2. And I'm going to go into that. I'm going to make a new folder which is going to be main game. 
enter again, wait while it thinks about what it's going to call that, main game. So all of this is going to be saved into that folder, and this is the main game, pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. It's one project saved. Now, our physics one, here we've got text physics, and we're in the whole physics game. Again, save as project. Go to that same place. C2. You see, it's got this whole structure of stuff inside. That's what we're going to be working with in a minute. I need to make sure I don't put everything into main game. So go back to C2, make new folder, and this is going to be physics. Wait for it to change the name. I wonder why that's so slow. Still waiting. Still waiting. I'm ready. Physics. OK. Click OK. Right. I'm now going to close Construct 2 completely and I'm going to go digging in that folder, C2 folder. So, main game. Um, all of the stuff that's in the game is defined in this main game.caproj. Purely out of interest, let's have a quick look at it. Um, if I edit Notepad here. Um, it's all XML, which is fairly human readable once you have seen what's going on. Um, so there's blah, 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 some stuff in here. But you'll notice there's a bunch of objects. So for instance, here I've got object and type name equals pig, and it's a sprite, and that carries on all the way down to there. So that's all the thing that defines pig. That's when we were doing the copy and paste. We were just making sure this file had all the right objects in it, box one and all the rest of it rather than manually editing this file, which would be a pain. Anyway, we don't need to touch that. So let's um, have a look at what we've got in terms of event sheets. I've got a main game events. And in terms of layouts, I've got main game that. Uh, and also when we were copying and pasting those objects, we were copying and pasting um, the images that um, are there. So what I need to do is go and get those things from physics. So if I go into physics, layouts, I've just got the physics.xml. The UI state is just, uh, isn't important. We don't need that, strangely. So um, it just uh, retains the state of the UI, which isn't something you need. So I'm going to control C, then go back to main game, layouts, control V, happy. Now go back to physics, event sheets, physics events, control C, C2, main game, events, control V. And every chance that will work. So if I go to main game and go main game caproj, hopefully I'm going to have everything open in here. So layouts, main game, mini game, events didn't happen. We might actually need to edit that other um, sheet as well. Let's just go and do that. So main game caproj, edit with notepad. Should have done this all before I started, shouldn't I? Just test it properly, never mind. Um, so we've got layout. Uh, objects, just looking for layouts. Okay, so we've got a layout folder and an event folder. Let's just do a little bit of copy and paste here then. Control C, Control V, what do I call it? Physics. Physics and events folder, Control C, Control V. Physics. Who thinks that'll work? Did I close Construct 2? I didn't. I'm just going to close that. And then I'm going to Control S, save that. And then I'm going to try opening Construct 2. This could work. It's always a chance. I've got main game layout and physics layout and physics events. And 
I guess I should really try them, so I'll just try the dually jumpy one. Yeah. You notice there was all that other stuff still there. So I close that and then try the physics one. And yeah, that's a job done. As you can see, it's awful fiddly, but it can be done.